For today's video, we are going to proceed in lesson 6 in statistics and probability and that is all about the estimation of parameters. This lesson is an introduction to the distribution. So we this ha this has a lesson contents such are the computing the point estimate of a population mean, understanding confidence interval estimates for the population mean. Now we have definition of terms that has been related for, to our lesson. So, if you say estimation, it is the process of making inferences about the population based on information obtained from a sample. Point estimates the sample mean or a population mean. So, kapag nag-solve tayo, sa, ambaw, nag tayo, ito ang inyong point estimate. If we're talking about the population mean or the sample mean. Interval estimate, this is a range of values that may contain the parameter of a population. Confidence interval, that the interval defined within the true population where members of the sample are expected to be found. Confidence level expressed as percent. It sets a portion of the sample to be included within a known range of true populations. Next, critical value, the value that indicated the point beyond which true population parameter is found. Now, confidence level, ito yung formula. We have 1 minus alpha all multiplied to 100%, where alpha is the probability that the confidence interval does contain the true population parameter. Next, margin of error. So, if we have a level of confidence, so of course, we have margin of error. This is the formula. Where N stands as the sample size, then the small sigma pop population standard deviation. Of course, lagi naman yun ang standing ni small sigma. A small Greek letter sigma. Then, how about the Z sub alpha over 2? The Z value at, ito yung formula ng ano ah, yung Z, Z sub alpha over 2, that confidence level. Now, so we have the first problem. So, find the Z value with the level of confidence of 90%. To find the area, so ito, itong 1, 1 minus alpha is already a confidence level. Hmm. Diba? Next, divided by 2, so we have 0 0.45 or 4-digit four, four decimal value, ito na ngayon ay hahanapin nyo sa Z table. I already highlighted that, no? Ayan. So, gamit na tayo ng magdifier. So, ito. Kasi hahanapin nyo yung, yung er, na area na to sa Z table. Such as ito yung nakita ko. Kahit hanapin nyo siguro magmula dito, wala na makikin itang 0, 0 0.45 or 0. 4,500 except dito na between yun na yung photo ngayon ano ang next? ngayon ito ngayon hanapin nyo yung Z4 ito nakita nyo pareha sila nakalita 1.6 pero magkaiba ito ay 1.64 and 1.65 ngayon pansin niyo. Ngayon, ang Z value niyo ngayon, ang Z score or your critical value will be 1.645. Ngayon, para hindi kayo mahihirapan dito, instead of using Z value or C table rather, you may use the T table. This T-table makes your computation easy para hindi na kayo titingin sa Z-table para lang hanapin ang critical values. Ito. Wait. Ito, oh. 
Depende con il lamporcento, no? Wait, wait. Next, we have solved problem number two. So the mean of the mean score of a random sample of 24 grade 11 students who took the third quarterly assessment is calculated to be 27. The population variance is known to be 0 0.09. Find the confidence interval with 95% confidence level. This is your Z this is your Z T table rather. Given Siyempre, your sample is 64. Kita naman. Your sample mean is 27. Then, your variance is 0 0.09. Ito magiging tricky to for sure. Then, your then your Z sub alpha over 2 or your critical values is equal to 1.96. Bakit po 1.96? With the confidence level of 95%. Hanapin natin yung 95. Ayun, kita siya. Next, solution for margin for finding margin of error. Ito, di ba? So, what is your standard deviation? Isi, sabi ko nga tricky, kasi ito, your variance is 0 0.09. So, from the variance, how are you going to find the standard deviation? Of course, you are going to find the square root of the variance. So, what is the square root of the variance? So, your standard deviation will be 0 0.3 because that is the square root of 0 0.09 all over square root of 64 times 1.96 such as the critical value. Now, this is your margin of error. Ano pinakinahanap natin? Yung confidence interval or confidence interval. No? This is the formula of interval estimate. You are going. So what is the sample mean 27 minus the, the margin of error? Minus and addition. Okay, minus and plus. It, so 27 minus 0 0.0735 is equal to 26. 0.9265 and 27 plus 0 0.0735 is equal to 27.0735 or it can be expressed as you have 26.9265 is less than the the population mean is less than the 27.0735 this is your this is gonna be your confidence interval estimate. Next, solve problem number three. Solve for point estimate, mar margin of error, and confidence interval estimate. Then write the conclusion. Ito ang word problem nyo. GPAs of entering mathematics majors. A random selection of 40 entering mathematics majors has the following GPAs assumed that the standard deviation is 0 0.46. Estimate the true mean GPA with 99% confidence interval. Confidence, conf level of confidence. So we have some given. So our sample, sample size is 40. Sample mean is 40. Ngayon, mamaya aalamin natin yung saan natin ito kinuha. Next, standard deviation of 0 0.4 supposed to be 0 0.46. Okay. Next, we have the critical values with the le confidence level of 99%. Ngayon, tingnan natin. Ito yung inyong Z, ano, your critical values. We have 2. 576 Ayan yan Ito Ngayon, meron tayong nakita ng chart That has The data 
data. Then what is this for? Anong purpose mo ito? Kalimpit kit. Ayun, ito ang magpapaliwana dito. Now, solve for point estimate, margin of error, and confidence interval estimate, then write the conclusion. For point estimate, technique for using calculator at by point. Kasi, minsan, sasabihin, minsan hindi, ano ito, eh, tawag dito. Hindi natin siya kinukupit ang mano-mano. Minsan, pagka mawala, makabig, makabig yung isip natin, wala ni kinukupit natin. Now, so, going back, so, Ngayon, hindi naman natin nasasabi na magamit yung mano-mano. Ngayon, use yung calculator. So, add by columns. Sample in columns. Ito, add mo ito. Ito ang labas. Add mo itong pangalawang column. Add mo yung pangatlo. Tapos, apat. Now, saka nyo siya i-add. Then, ito lang ang lalabas din na result. Kahit anong, kahit gusto nyo pa ganito. It's all up to you. Kasi yung pastland pa. Kaya bahala. Ngayon. Margin of error. Here. Here. This is your margin of error. So we have 0 0.19. Then confidence interval estimate. 40 minus 0.19. And... 40 plus 0.19 Then we have 39.81 And we have Then kapag Sinimplify nyo ito Ito We have 39.81 And 40.19 Or it can be also expressed as 39.81 is less than The mean is less than 40.19 So, conclusion. Thus, we can say that we have 99% confidence that the interval between 39.81 and 40.19 contain the population mean based on selection of 40 entering mathematics major. Yan ang conclusion ko. Now, for the activities, so same with kung ano lang ginawa ko sa solve problem number 3. Watching te this is all about watching television and ito ang data nyo. So, well done. So, finally, nakaraos din tayo sa statistics and probability. So, if possible, pwede ko lang siguro maising it. Yung mismo ng t-distribution lessons natin dito sa statistics. And at the same time, sa calculus, sabi ko nga, magpo-proceed na tayo sa anti-differentiation. Okay, so that's all for the meantime. So, thanks for watching and see you in my next video.